Hey, what is up guys? It's the Michigan Minecrafter back here with another video, and today I'm doing another mod review on a really interesting mod called No Cubes. So for those of you out here out I would say out here, I don't know why I say that. Out there who have complained in the past that, you know, why would you play Minecraft? It's just a bunch of cubes. What are you what are you gonna do? Um well, I mean, this is kind of a solution to the problem. Um yeah, so there's no cubes, well, other than uh, any blocks that aren't typically a part of the landscape, obsidian, uh, bricks, that sort of stuff. But everything else, like stone and sand and uh, grass blocks, are all sort of smoothed out. So, um, th I think this is a really cool mod, just as sort of a concept and proof that this is sort of a possibility. Um, but I definitely wouldn't use it for any survival series, just because it sort of breaks the normal um, look of Minecraft. And as you might have seen there, it obviously looks a lot better with shaders. Because um, some of the lighting is broken and the blocks just kind of look a little faded out as opposed to what normal Minecraft looks like. So, um, yeah, there is that. And one thing that the mod creator has fixed uh, in the current version that I'm using is the way that the water lines up with the coastline which I think is really cool because uh, in past versions it would like not line up correctly and it was like all blocky and weird and texture glitches and all sorts of crazy stuff but yep so that's all fixed now and as I said before not all the blocks um, smooth into the landscape like as you can see here uh, trees are the same they just connect to the ground the same way um, and I think um, and one reason that I wouldn't use this in like a survival sort of series thing is because building can be weird at times um, like, if you put down normal blocks that don't smooth themselves out, the landscape underneath them actually shifts to make sure that there's no gaps underneath it, which I think is really cool. And then you can just build, like, normal or whatever. Build a nice obsidian wall there, and there's no gaps underneath or anything like that. Um, it kind of reminds me of, like, sort of um, uh, your average sandbox game, like... Um, yeah, can't think of any right now. Anyways, <laughs> um, but if I put down something like sand or grass, unfortunately, um, it can be kind of weird. So, like, if I put down the first block there, it just changes the color of the surface, and then if I put another one down, then it turns into a really weird shape thing going on and then if I keep building up um, then you get like a really weird shaped pillar which I mean it looks cool but it's not um, it's just not realistic as far as if you're trying to build with these types of materials I don't think so the, there is that and one glitch that I found weird earlier is this if I break the bottom sand instead of just falling one layer down, it actually breaks all of them. So I think that is a glitch, unfortunately, but pretty easy to overlook just because it's such an interesting concept. And let me turn the rain off here. Toggle, down, fall, boom. Ah, okay, so um, I think that is about it as far as explaining how the mod itself sort of functions. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, oh, this was sort of another weird glitch I found earlier, was that, well, I don't know if it's necessarily a glitch, but if you set down fire, it sort of acts the same way that uh, a sib obsidian does when you lay it down, and it sort of makes all the blocks uh, meld into it and make it smooth. So, I mean, it's not really a glitch, but uh, it's just interesting since fire usually doesn't affect solid landscapes so yeah there is that but the other thing I wanted to show you was what happens in the nether and admittedly I didn't build this platform myself as much as I'd like to take credit for it um, but 
I accidentally had the Lucky Block mod installed when I first loaded this world in, and it just kind of showed up. I'm, I have a feeling there was like a Lucky Block on it before, but instead I built another portal on it, so let's head into the nether. Here we go. Alright, so now that we're in the nether, um, I can show you another kind of example of the weirdness that happens with this mod, and that is like uh, the pointy parts of... Um, like overhanging platforms as you can see it kind of just turns into one flat texture as opposed to something 3d which I mean that's kind of weird and I just flew through it how did that even how does that work <laughs> do I just like I don't know I don't even know what I did there but um yeah the rest of the nether actually looks pretty cool in my opinion um, and if I turn shaders on, it's a little easier to see, like, the um, shapes of the walls and stuff, because otherwise everything kind of blends together because of the texture of netherrack being so obnoxious. So, um, oh, that was weird. Look at that. That's kind of a glitch, I think. I don't know. Like, you can't see the source block. Um, so if I change into shaders real quick... Boom, there we go. Um, I mean, yeah, it kind of makes things darker too, obviously, but... Um, so that is sort of what it looks like with shaders. You can kind of see the shape a little easier with it, but not a huge difference other than it just being darker. So, and, well, and my frame lag going down like crazy. Or, frame lag going down, actually frame lag is going up. My frames themselves are going down. There we go. Bit of uh, nerdiness for you there. Um, but other than that, I think that's all I got wanted to show you guys about this mod. Um, oh, actually, one last thing. One last thing. Um, number one, you can step up and down these blocks really easily. Uh, and there's actually a way to configure whether you run into them and stop or step up them but I just left it enabled. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was um, this is what I was talking about a second ago with the auto step and then this is the whole mod in and of itself. So if I click disabled it sets everything back to normal. So that's a really nice part about this mod is that it really doesn't affect your world at all. Um, it doesn't affect the world save or anything so you could just do this to one of your normal worlds and not mess anything up. So I think that is really cool and I think that about finishes up the mod review. If you guys enjoyed be sure to definitely go check out the mod in the description below and like the video and subscribe and all that good stuff because I think we're at 40 subscribers now which is crazy. Um, and once we reach 50 I'm thinking I'm gonna do something special. I'm not sure what yet but uh, yeah, so definitely be looking forward to that, um, and yeah, I will see all you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>